Oh yeah, guys. So, go back to that episode. Oh, but yeah, we're back with another episode of Persona Four Arena, yeah, guys. So yeah, still doing live versus story mode. So, so yeah, and this is basically, and she just in the, at the end of the last episode, episode she eventually goes into the TV world. And becomes Miss President, quote unquote. So it went over my eyes. I'm staring at a wood grain board. It's the surface of a de desk. I qu I quickly quickly raise raise my hand. I mean my head. So yeah, it looked like I fell asleep in class. My sleeve was pressed against my forehead while I was asleep and the texture left a mark. Oh man, I hope no one sees this above my forehead and look a little and look around the classroom. Point to the dock on the wall. It's thirty it's three thirty in the afternoon. The only thing written on the blackboard is May first, two thousand twelve. Tuesday, everything else is erased. I stretch out my arms. I feel like I feel a little tired, but God, say, fo stay focused. After all, just got elected to the council president in the elections a couple of days ago. I have to keep in touch with what the people who boy for me want in a leader things with the student council will get pretty hectic after school I should hurry to the student council room I stand up and open the door to the back of the class when I got to the hallway there's no one around I checked inside the classrooms as I go but I still don't see anyone So yeah. So yeah, in the TV world, Lavis apparently is student council president. So yeah. And that's how she would have looked like if she was human, bruh. So yeah. Cause remember, Lavis is still a robot at the end, at the end of the day. So yeah. It's weird, the whole school is usually rowdier than this after classes. I hear people talking and laughing in classrooms and teachers yelling at them to quiet down. Where's all the bustle of the students and I want getting ready for their after school activities? Only some of them do after school activities, Lavarus. While others just Basically, either go hang out elsewhere or probably just go straight home. With me in the US, after I finish school, I would just go straight home, bro. Like, because I was a busy dude, bro. I was running my first YouTube channel and doing a lot of the high school shit that I was doing, bro. At the same time, bro. So I really wasn't able to upload that much, but okay, okay, okay. I did upload upload much content, but it wasn't really the content that a lot of you guys know me for, bro. So yeah, there's a lot of copyright stuff, bro. So yeah. Luckily, I would. Luckily, nowadays with the current channel, I mostly focuses on, on original programming, bro. So yeah. That's when I was wondering that I turn around and look down the way I can. There's some students in the hallway. Some of them are chatting, and others are coming out of the classrooms. 
few of them run past me carrying their bags. Yeah, this is more like it. This is how school is supposed to be. Hey, no in the hallway. Then he gives me an apologetic smile. But he just waves to me and then zooms down the stairs. And honestly, let's be honest, nobody really pays attention to the Stilly Council President, let's be honest, bro. Hello. They're, they're most likely not gonna listen to you, girl, like, don't worry. I put my hands on my hips inside. Someone walking down the hallway talks to me. I wave back to them. I always ha had a lot of friends and people who knew me. But ever since I got elected student council president, all the students seem to know who I am. Job comes to a lot with a lot of pressure, but I know I'm up to it. I'm going to be busier than ever around school now. I did have many doubts, but in the end, I'm glad I ran for student council president. Yeah, I did the right thing. I did. I heard I had the student council room. Not only would, not only is that what Labyrinth looks like, if she would have been human, but it would have most likely been what the girl would have looked like as well, bro. Remember, Labrys is supposed to be based off of, of a girl. They based off some random girl who was hospitalized because of her condition. So yeah. So yeah. And the girl would have most likely looked like that, bruh. What you just saw, bruh. Time flies by as I go over my agenda. I don't think I should be talking way too much because given how long these chap these scenes slash chapters really be recently, so yeah. Almost to the point where I should have done it in streaming format as opposed to taped format. Before I know it, there's red light pouring in from the west window. It's already sundown. Guess that's enough for today. There's no one else left in the school council room. I had the others go home before I, it got too late. When I said, well, I said that if they push themselves too much at start, they'll burn out quick. They just laughed and said, the same goes for you. I leave the student council room and locked it up. As I go down the hall to, to return the key, I see a strange woman at the far end of the hallway. She's not wearing our school uniform. She's got on an odd hat, some gloves, and a one-piece dress. It's all the same deep blue color. Underneath one arm is an odd-looking book. You can't see her face with her back towards me, but her short, straight hair draws my attention. Her hair is this radiant silver, like if pearls were stretched out into strands. Maybe it's the clothes, but she gets off the strange presence. I get a little uneasy looking at her. I'm not tiptoeing or anything, but she doesn't turn around until I'm about two meters away. When she finally does, though, I gasp a little, and her features are so perfect that she's like a sculpture. Oh, Elizabeth. <laughs> I don't understand what she's getting at. But for some reason, the question throws me. I am a wanderer blowing the staff here because I sense great power gathering. I am in no position to give advice. But, um, this place will soon be causing a bit of a fracas. If you continue 
need to avert your eyes from ever. I think it will have an impact on your life in the near future. My life? What she just said sounds pretty scary. She may have some screws loose, but something is whispering to me deep in my heart, asking me, doesn't ha doesn't she have a point? Aren't you looking away from something important? Let me see if it's up to you, but I believe there are factors preventing you from making the right choices at the moment. I couldn't bring myself to just stand by and watch as you lost your life before my eyes. That is why I was waiting here to give you one last chance. Damn, the lady opens the thick book she's holding. Damn, man. I don't know how it's doing that, but light streams from the book. It gets stronger and stronger until I have to shield my eyes. The blinding light finally begins to fade a little. I slowly open my eyes. First thing I see should have been my arms. But what I see instead is an arm made out of metal. Huh? What is this? Can't believe this awkward metal arm is mine. It's like metal plates are completely covering it. Start, I start tugging at them and try to tear them off. Thing is, the thing is, is that you're not actually human. You're actually a robot. It's not, it's not just my arms. My legs are ch have changed too. Why are my arms and legs mechanical? My whole body even. I stare at my hands in confusion. These are my hands, all right. Part of me knows that, and I shake my head. What am, what am I thinking? There's no way these are my hands. It's not possible. It's not. My head hurts. What is this? Oh, so this is the, it takes us a couple of chapters or scenes in this Game in Lavis' story to for us to actually have a match, bruh. During that time, why not think back about the who you are? Huh? Why a takes a slightly defense stance. And away we go. Took us eight scenes to for us to finally have a match. Okay, okay. Yeah, it took us eight goddamn scenes to, for us to have a fight with Lavras, bro, or have a have Lavras to have an actual fight that isn't the fucking scientist, bro. Takes us a while. God damn, man. Yes. And Elizabeth just laying there. She's just laying there happy, bro. <laughs> Even though she lost. I somehow managed to beat my the lady in blue who attacked me. 
How did I win? How did I use these metal arms and legs like it was second nature? I don't understand. The lady in blue stands before me exactly like she was when I first saw her. She's not even breathing hard. Well done, but I'm sure you realize now. You are not human. There must have been an important promise that could only be kept in that guise. That must have been your reason for living. Whether it's worth losing that or not, I ask that you give it serious thought. An important promise. Your reason for living? I repeat that to myself. Seems important somehow. Now, it seems the tumult of time is about to begin. In which case, I bid you good luck. Thick book in her hands closes with a loud thud. Strangely, that ordinary sound lingers in my mind. When I come back to my senses, there's no one here anymore. I take a nervous look at my arms and legs. Nothing seems different about me. There's no metal on my limbs now. Just ordinary skin and bones. What the heck was that? Not dream? Nah. Yeah, was it? What was that? Would daydream be a word f for what just happened? I can't sort out my thoughts. So I think to myself, I can't let it get to me. Just let it go. But some things can't dismiss that that easy. You are not human. You have an important promise, which must have been your reason for living. My head's hurting again. The pain brings back another memory. Oh yeah, about the whole scientist situation, bruh, that occurred. Just for a second, I can't quite catch it, but I saw blue skies, the ocean, and someone else was there. Maybe a white dog too, I don't, I don't know. Oh my gosh, she's already beginning to forget about 24 and Snowy, bruh. I think there was a lo lot more to it, but the last voice I heard s stays with me. I mean, we're loved after all. I come to, my hands are balled into a fist. That's when I make the decision. I promise that reason for living. I have to hang on to it. I didn't hear them until now. But there are strange voices everywhere in the school building. This is this the tum, tum, tumult of trials that lady in blue mentioned? Is that really going to be a thing? I can't just leave this to you. I'm the dang student council president. As student council president, I have to find out what's going on in, the, in my school. I need to make sure the students aren't getting involved in, in anything dangerous. I start running towards the first floor. You know, they begin to fight and some random idiot posts it on World Store, bro. bro. Like, th that's actually the reason, that's one of the reasons why I hate World Store is because, because not only is the music shitty most, usually but but also they are known for posting a lot of fight videos bruh and i feel like it does kind of portray african americans in a negative light bruh oh Okay, so Labrys' story serves as a pro, as a pro, as a prequel to the actual Persona 4 Real, Real game itself. Okay. Welcome to Zelda's room. Oh, I like achievement. 
a story that has been told. Okay. Okay, I. So in order to unlock the cliffhangers, you have to like complete the story, bro. The okay, so yeah. Okay, so. I wonder which cliffhangers. I forgot, but. So, but. Anyways, uh. That'll be it for today's episode, bruh. So, we did Labyrinth and shit, bruh. Now, we're gonna do I guess and shit next. Although the story is not over yet after I guess because we, we unlocked. We're, we're able to continue stories of s several characters so say so yeah i'll see you guys next time Fire tv sign off